to the video tutorial for the Press and Print Activity Kit, designed by me, Zoe Murphy, aka Margate Girl, and artist Kerry Lemon. These kits have been provided by South Gloucestershire Council for the residents of Emerson's Green and Lyde Green to help you to get creative in the month of May, as well as contributing to a brand new herbarium at the Bristol Museum and helping Kerry Lemon with some artwork that she is designing for some local spaces. So these kits are free for you to take part in and the activities break down into four stages. One, learning how to collect wild flowers, getting out into the green spaces of Emerson's Green and Lyde Green to collect them. Two, learning how to press flowers in order to preserve and save them forever. Three, have a go at making sun-powered cyanotype art prints using the sunshine and the special papers from the project. And four, archive and display your work. This is where you send the important parts in to be included in the two projects we have collaborated with, as well as instruction for how to take part in the big front window exhibition in your community. We've put these videos together to help you with the four stages and there's links to each one on the Press and Print website. Don't forget to follow along on social media to ask us any questions that you have in the comments section of our posts and to share what you've made as you go. So in this video, we are learning how to make sun-powered cyanotype art prints using your pressed flowers. Now that you've pressed and preserved your local wildflowers, we're going to show you how to make some super cool blue-coloured artwork with them. Make sure you take a trip at the start of July back to the venue that you collected your kit from to pick up your pack of specially coated cyanotype papers in the blue envelope, just like this one. In each pack are 10 high quality pieces of white paper that have been coated in a light sensitive solution, making them all ready to be used to generate sun powered shadow art prints called cyanotypes. So what is a cyanotype? Cyanotyping is a photographic printing process that produces images in a dark blue color and is named for the Greek word cyan, meaning dark blue substance. It was discovered almost 180 years ago and was used to make records of plant specimens even then. The coated papers use UV rays from the sun and a mix of two different chemicals that come together in the paper to create something called ferric ferrocyanide, also known as Prussian blue. It is this blue that sticks to the paper and makes those lovely shadow art prints. Pretty cool, huh? So to make your cyanotype prints today, you're going to need a sunny day, your perfectly flat pressed flowers, the clear perspex sheet that comes in your kit, the cyanotype papers, but keep these inside the black bag, and access to a clear bit of space outside, plus a sink indoors. Once you have all of this ready to go, you'll be set to make some cool artwork to share with your neighbours, with our artist Kerry Lemon, and a way to remember your plants forever. How to make cyanotype prints. Locate a nice sunny spot outside, one that will be in the sunlight for quite a bit. Select the pressed flowers you're going to use and have them all ready to place. Peel off the protective film from both sides of the perspex so that it's now see-through. This will help the UV rays reach the cyanotype paper. Remove one sheet of the cyanotype paper from the black bag and place it on a flat surface outside. You could use a bit of cardboard to rest it on if you like. As soon as the sunlight hits the cyanotype paper, it will be starting to expose, so do the next step quickly.
Quickly place your pressed flower specimens on top of the cyanotype paper and really speedily arrange them for how you would like them to look on the page. You've just got a couple of seconds to do this. Now apply the perspex. Hold the flowers in situ by placing the clear perspex on top of them to keep them in place while the sun does its thing. Leave in direct sunlight for 10 to 15 minutes. As long as the paper flower perspex sandwich is in the direct sunlight, leave it there undisturbed for about a quarter of an hour. If it's not such a sunny day or the clouds keep coming over, you could always leave it there for a tiny bit longer. The weather on the day makes a big impact on how your prints will look. Now rinse it out. Next to the sink, carefully and quickly lift off the plastic sheet and the flowers, keeping them safe because you'll need them later, and place the piece of paper under cold running water. Rinse the paper for a few minutes until the water is running clear and you can see your designs. Try not to rub or scrub the paper, but you could always gently agitate the part where your flower outlines are with your finger. Once you're all done, leave the cyanotype to dry on a tea towel and spot the beautiful blue colour get deeper and deeper as it dries. And now you can begin the process with another flower. You have 10 papers to use. So think about picking your best and most significant specimens and only doing one of each type of flower. If the image on your first cyanotype looks blurry, very slim, or like the blue has bled into the white, then it could be overexposed and too much light has crept into your flower shadows. In this case, leave your next cyanotype prints in the sun for a shorter amount of time until you discover the length of time that works for you. Remember the artist Kerry that we met at the start of this video? Well, she is going to be transforming a selection of the cyanotype art prints into beautiful outdoor patterns and sculptures that will be installed in a place that's local to you. But she needs to get a good look at everyone's cyanotypes in order to help with the process. So that is why we're sending pictures of them in. Plus, don't forget we're sending specimens of our wildflowers into the Bristol Museum to help with their brand new herbarium just like a real botanist does. So stay tuned with this video and we're going to show you a bit more about how to do that. How to display and share all of the things that you've made with the Bristol Museum, with artist Kerry Lemon and how to take part in our community exhibition. For this final and very important part of the kit you'll need the little pack of contents at the bottom of the box. It's an envelope with a sheet of stickers in and a little bag of goodies to help you share your cyanotypes with Kerry and display them for our window exhibition. To send your specimens in to the curator of the Bristol Museum, take the envelope from the pack and follow the instructions on the leaflet inside. The specimen stickers will need to be cut apart first. Don't forget to write all of the details about your plant and yourself onto the sticker in order to show the museum where the plant was found, who found it, and if you like, a little bit about what you thought about the specimen you collected. This tells you how to fold pieces of A4 paper to make little A5 wallets, and use one of these for each of your pressed flowers, placing it inside the folder paper and sealing it shut with a specimen sticker. Next, pop all of your special specimens into the envelope and stick a stamp on the front before putting the letter in the post to the museum. The museum is going to be interested in seeing one of every type of flower that you've collected and if you find you've got a really big range and you run out of the specimen stickers, don't worry, just write the information that you need to directly onto the folded piece of paper itself and seal it up with a piece of sellotape. They are going to be so excited to see what specimens you have collected to add to their herbarium. And don't forget, now that you know how to collect and preserve flowers yourself, you can have another go whenever you like. To send images of your cyanotypes into Kerry, you'll need a mobile phone or digital camera and the little clear envelope from the bottom of the box. 
Make sure your cyanotypes are dry, flat and ready to photograph. Fill in the little tag in this pack with your name and email address and place this below your cyanotype. Using natural light and a straight on camera angle, take a clear and well lit photograph of your cyanotype that fills the whole picture. It should also show the tag details so that we can match your name to your picture. Send a photograph of each cyanotype print that you have made to press and print at kerrylemon.co.uk making sure to send the high resolution versions as there is a chance it could get used in some huge local artwork. Once you've sent images of all of your cyanotypes into Kerry, it means we can get in touch about the exciting opportunity to take part in the local exhibition that we're organising for all of the participants in this project. You'll have the chance to display all of your fantastic art pieces in your front windows. And for one particular week in August, we're going to be publishing a mapped trail that shows everybody where to walk to view the fantastic pieces of artwork in your front windows. We've included the ribbon and window hooks so that you can hang your favorite cyanotypes in the front windows ready for this street side exhibition in the summer. Simply pierce a few holes at the top of your cyanotype and thread the ribbon through before tying a small knot on the other side. This will create a little hanging loop to go over your suction hook. You could also use sellotape and smaller loops of ribbon if you want to hang quite a few. So when you've heard from us about what days to display your cyanotype art prints, pop them up in the window and head out to see everyone else's creations too. Well done! This kit has been a huge undertaking and a lot of fun. You have learned how to press and preserve local flowers like a true botanist and how to make beautiful artwork from your surroundings like a real artist does. Don't forget to share everything that you're super proud of with us on social media using the hashtag pressandprintart and above all else, give yourself a huge pat on the back. This is a very special project that you've taken part in. You can feel very proud of yourself for the work that you've made. So we look forward to seeing you on the exhibition tour. Don't forget to give everybody a wave when they are admiring your super blue creations. See you soon.